and a woman who started Carnage Hall. She deserves a statue. You've never been so close to killing someone surprised it happened from that point. <laughs>
Patient. He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait! What's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this... Margaret! A witch? Never met any witches. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from I him! I can give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mac had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. Dater looks like a pile of ground beef. What did that do? You've heard about what happened at the bazaar? Chaos and mayhem. This is what comes of lawlessness. Good day, citizen. What happened at the bazaar? Oh, sets the no, light. No, no, no. seen Albert this happy in forever. Thank you for what you're doing. Here's a list for your next book search. I've enjoyed our talks, but I tend to hog the conversation. 
Are there any questions you'd like to ask me? Well, actually, I am curious about something. Wonderful. What would you like to know? I get that you're a romantic, but are you into subjects like science? An interesting question. Hopefully my answer will be worthy of it. You ask, though, as if they are entirely different ends of the spectrum. But to me, they are parallel notions. Whether it's science or romance, answers to questions are often best guesses based on what can be observed. With a different perspective, the same information leads to a different answer. For example, the sun was once a fiery god that, with better observational tools, was revealed to be but a fiery ball of gas. How do you feel about science? Especially given its role in our current mess. Science is just a tool, like a hammer. You can use it to build a shelter or bury it in someone's skull. A vivid but effective example. Hopefully we'll see more shelters and fewer of the other. Hurry back so we can speak some more. Of course. I'm looking forward to it. supply doing delivering lamps ain't a difficult job Matt? What's up? I wanted to officially thank you. Aita's back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a coma. Or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Philidor. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out.
I'm looking for the Guildmaster. Driscoll, I was told. Well, that'd be me. And who are you? It's not often I see an unfamiliar face. Not from around here, I gather. No, and I'm looking for work. Sorry, pal, but this is a special organization. You can't just waltz in off the street and get a job here. I'm not waltzing. I don't even dance. 
You think a smart mouth like that's gonna help you get work? Sorry, I'm just new to everything. I just need to get to know the city, and from what I heard, this seemed to be the best way to do it. And to make an honest wage. And I was a pilgrim, if that helps. A pilgrim, you see? I've heard about your kind. It's hardly a recommendation. <sighs> Look, you said you were a special group. What's so special about the Carrier's Guild? We work for the people, not just for cash on the barrel head. Carriers deliver packages and letters all over the city. I did a lot of that as a pilgrim. It's a valuable service. It's priceless. And not just because of the fees we collect, you merc. Packages and letters are information. Information is the lifeblood of a society. It's also the connective tissue. Brings people together. And it can tear them apart. Yeah, I definitely get that. Yeah, I like hell you do. Pilgrims are just pure play. You don't have any higher purpose. But carriers... The carriers are the trusted stewards of this system of information and connection. In our way, we safeguard society, protect and defend information. We keep people connected to one another. I see what you mean. It sounds like a huge responsibility. Damn right it is. Which is why not every Tom, Dick, Harry, or shady pilgrim is cut out to be a carrier. Please. I just want to help. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, you can just bugger off. Have yourself a wonderful day. My crazy crew, this is Siba. I have an amazing opportunity for you. A three-year subscription to the most popular VOD service, whose name I can't say here, but you'll know it when you see it. <laughs> for half price, and it's the full premium package. Add on to that a collection of the most popular lifestyle shows, including Lobster in a Hundred Ways, The Travel Channel, and Private Oases of Luxury. I don't think I need to mention a couple of adult channels. <laughs> Access to all the latest blockbusters in 4K and HDR. Sure, there hasn't been a lot of new production lately, but that virus is going to peter out just like the one before it. Stop thinking about it, just go for it, because I got a lot of people who are nibbling at the hook already. This special offer won't last long. Act now, and I mean right now, and I'll throw in a massage chair as a bonus in gently used condition. Come on, give me a call now, or you'll be kicking yourself tomorrow. Hey, are you sure you don't need me? Looks like you're running low on carriers. Aye, things have gotten more dangerous than usual lately. Maybe I'm trying to do you a favor by not bringing you in at this particular juncture. I'm a pilgrim. I know danger. Outside the walls, danger. Oh, do you now? I tell you what, how about I give you a little test, and we see how that goes. Works for me. Test away. Okay, hotshot. Let's see what you're made of. First, you need to make your way to the top of a building nearby, and bring back a package that was left by one of ours. Should be lying somewhere by a tent. Is that all? <laughs> Don't go anywhere.
What are you doing? A few days ago, I thought I saw a bird of prey in the sky. It was bigger than a kestrel. More like a sparrow hawk. It's been bothering me. After all, nothing lives here. At least nothing should. So many chemicals here can't even find rats. That's true. So I dug up my old bird call tapes, and I'm trying to lure it back. And how's that going? <sighs> Poorly. Either I hallucinated, or it's playing hard to get. Maybe you're not speaking its language. I am, I am! Sparrow hogs are hardwired to respond to the call of another male encroaching on his territory. How do you know so much about this? I'm a bird watcher. Or at least I was, back when there were more birds alive than just crows. So... What, you spied on birds? Watch them! <laughs> I mean, maybe there is a bit of voyeurism in it. Birds are fascinating. What are you gonna do? I could try one more trick, but I can't do it alone. I'd like to play the calls from a very high place, without anyone around, even myself. <laughs> do you have any particular very high place in mind? The radio tower. This may sound crazy, but if you could do this, it might draw him out and I could observe from here with my binoculars. Makes sense. You think so? Can you help me with this? I can't promise anything. Of course, but if you do decide to help, take this tape recorder. It will definitely come in handy. By the way, I'm Adrian. I'm Aiden. I'll get in touch. easy. That was quick. Not bad. That was a test. I barely broke a sweat. Hey, don't get cocky, hotshot. That was just a primer. As you'd guess, delivering messages will take you through areas swarming with infected. And sometimes at night. For this test, you'll need to pick up five letters that were dropped in a dark zone when the previous carrier was being chased by the infected. You'll need real skills just to survive, let alone succeed. Piece of cake for a pilgrim, though, right? <laughs> yep, this sounds more my speed. I see you soon.
Not bad, hotshot. Not bad. That hardly qualified as a test. Ha! This last one, mate. You come face to face with customers. This is what the job is about. Connecting people through the letters they send and receive. Reconnecting our fractured society, so to speak. This is where you prove your true worth. I can handle it. Believe it or not, I'm sort of a people person. <laughs> oh, you could have fooled me. But I have to admit you're not a fragile type. I'm starting to see some potential. Pull this off, and I might consider letting you take the carrier's oath after all. I just better not get any complaints from the clients. You won't. I promise.
Oh! <laughs> 
Attacking the canteen now? We're really gonna win this game. <laughs> Worker. You found them, then brought them back safely. Oh, ho, ho, ho. here now is one of the original great American novels, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Mark Twain was a wry observer of the human condition and a sharp-witted satirist. What would his take on the divisions of our society be, I wonder? Here we have what is known as the Written Torah, an introduction, if you will, to the origin story of the Jewish people, and part of the larger concept of the Torah that includes all their teachings, culture, and practice. A crucial tome of religion and culture. Our collection is growing by leaps and bounds, <laughs> primarily due to your leaping and bounding. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> you are a stoic, aren't you? Damn, <laughs> thought you'd have a better sense of humor than Thalia. <laughs> Oh, well. Aiden, it's such a wonderful day. Let's dispense with all this dreary philosophizing, shall we? <laughs> okay. I see you brought back the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Tell me, Aiden, as a pilgrim, are you an adventurer like Huckleberry Finn? Every day out there was an adventure, I can tell you that. Not always a pleasant one, though. There was plenty of unpleasantness in Huckleberry Finn. In that case, call me Huck. And I'll be your Mary Jane. Tell me, Aiden. Do you have a thing for older women like Huck did? Excuse me? Never mind. I am just glad you've retained your sense of humor in the face of this world's darkness. And don't ever think I take for granted the danger you surely encounter every day. Mm, the danger's out there, Thalia. Here with you. No reason not to relax. That's how I feel when you're around, Aiden. Thank you for that. I'll anxiously await your return. Before you go, 